Students, I want to welcome you to another episode of Jay's Learning School, where I have the opportunity to help you to understand and to speak better English. On today's English lesson, I'm going to teach you about the vocabulary word mimic. Now, before we get into it, make sure if you would like subtitles to hit that closed caption button that is located below this video. Now, the word mimic simply means to imitate someone else's actions. When you mimic someone, you copy someone else's actions. It reminds me when I was young, we used to play this game called Simon Says. And Simon would come out and turn around and tell the crowd, Simon Says, raise your hand. So if I raise my hand, you raise your hand. Simon Says, look to the left. If I look to the left, you would look to the left. It was a game where you would imitate someone else's actions. And that is called to mimic or mimic someone else. To mimic also means to replicate, replicate someone's voice or mannerisms. There are some people that like Star Wars and they like to mimic the voice of Darth Vader. Luke, I am your father. They are imitating or mimicking Darth Vader's voice. You have some people, they like to mimic different parts of a movie. I like to mimic Denzel Washington. I've learned how he walks in the movies. I can walk like him. I like to mimic some of his lines in a movie. In the movie Training Day, he would say, Jake, Jake, give me that gun. I'm going to get that gun and I'm going to get that money. All right. All right. I'm putting cases on all you. <laughs> King Kong ain't got nothing on me. So... I'm mimicking Denzel Washington. I am copying or trying to replicate his voice as well as his mannerisms. OK, the father can mimic his daughter. The father can mimic his his wife. So sometimes you can look at someone and mimic them and they look at you. You stare at them. They say what you say what. <laughs> they scratch their nose. You scratch their nose, your nose. They'll say stop. Stop mimicking me. Then you say, stop mimicking me. So it's about replicating someone's mannerisms or their voice. Now, the thing about mimicking people, it can be comical. It can be fun in games. But to some people, it can be very annoying. We would say, you are getting on my nerves. Will you please leave me alone? You better stop or else. OK, so mimicking certain people can be fun, comical, but it can be something that is considered pestering. OK, so you want to be careful about who you mimic in public or in private because you don't want to start an argument or get into a fight with someone. One way to flirt with your spouse or to just annoy your spouse is to mimic them. When they move, you move. <laughs> and so you just have fun with your spouse or with your children or family members. That's what it means to mimic. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's English lesson where I have taught you about the vocabulary word mimic. If you don't know, I would like for you to join me on my live stream where I have free English class every week twice a week now, Tuesdays at 9.15 a.m. and Thursdays at 7.15 p.m. And these are Eastern Standard Time Zones. So I hope that you will join me. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe by hitting that subscribe button below and as, as well as turning on that notification bell so you can be notified of a live stream or one of my free English lessons. Also, if you learned one thing or had some fun with me, I would love for you to hit that like button as that would help the channel out. Until next time, I hope you join me right here on Jay's Learning School. And while you're here, take a moment to look at some of my other videos to help you understand and speak better English. I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day.